Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a graph, and uh, obviously there's something going on with this particular graph, and we want to determine the domain and range with nothing but this graph. So this graph would uh, obviously represent a function of some sort. So this is a typical type of problem when you are studying functions in algebra. So you'll give you'll be given some sort of graph, and you'll be asked to define the domain and range. So pretty common problem, and we're gonna go through this particular problem just to kind of review some concepts that maybe you might be, you know, still having some questions on. Now, uh, before we get into this problem, it's important that you already have a good understanding of other things about functions, i.e. what they are, and domain and range. So if you're not quite sure about what uh, domain and range mean, well, I'll quickly review this in this particular video, but you definitely are gonna to wanna to do some follow-up. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get to exactly how to determine the domain and range just by giving the graph in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, I have an excellent math help program. I've been developing it for years. Basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses so if you're studying for an exam like the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam, just you name it. If you're taking an exam and it has math, I likely have a test prep course for that exam. I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, you might want to check out my homeschool program. Then obviously I'll help those of you that are having a tough time in the current math courses. Now, if you are a math student, you must take a look at your notes. I've been teaching math for decades. It's extremely important that you have uh, basically the best notes you can possibly make, okay? And this is a skill slash art form. So don't, you know, ignore your note taking. This is critically important for your retention and comprehension of the material you're learning in mathematics. So um, as you're improving your notes, because most people definitely need to improve the notes, uh, you can use my notes and I'll leave the links to not only my math help program, but my notes, everything in the description of this video. All right, now let's talk about our problem here. If you think you can, you know, uh, figure it out, I would certainly pause the video and just say, all right, you know, what is the domain? What's the range? And uh, play around with this for a second. But I'm going to go ahead and get into exactly how we uh, solve this problem. Okay. Now, let's talk about the domain. All right, so here's our graph. And we need to understand uh, what these words mean. So D here, this is domain and this is the range. And there's uh, a couple different ways we can describe or write our answer. I don't really care the way, you know, which way you, uh, you use, okay, as long as it's uh, correct. But the domain is basically the input, the allowable input values, uh, input values, I'm just going to write this here, that you can, the set of input values you can plug into a function, all right? And what you want to be thinking about, it's associated with the x variable. It's called the independent variable. And the range is the set of output values. Let's put this right here, output values. Now, this variable here, or the range, is associated with the y uh, variable, okay? And it's dependent upon the input variable. So in a function, you plug in input values, and then you generate a set of output values. Let me go to fix this real quick. And so what we're going to do here is uh, look to describe or write the set or define the set of input values and the set of output values. But the clue here is we want to um, be thinking in terms of x, the x-axis, numbers along the x-axis for this function for our domain, our input value. So let's take a look at this. All right, so if you see, we have this uh, graph, it represents a function. And it's kind of going off like this forever. But something interesting is happening right here, okay? Now this graph appears to be approaching this line. Now hopefully you've seen this before, but this is what we call an asymptote, okay? So it's a particular line that's basically a boundary, and this function's graph is going to be approaching this line, this vertical line, x equals two, okay? It's never gonna touch it, but it's gonna get infinitely close to it down over here. So if you are not familiar with asymptotes, you're definitely going to uh, see them as you study more advanced mathematics like Algebra 2 and beyond, okay? So it's definitely 
uh, one of these things are not like a little side thing. You'll see this not only with uh, domains and range, but, um, you know, graphs of conic sections, uh, hyperbolas, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, hopefully you have a pretty good idea what an asymptote is already. So this uh, function here is kind of like approaching uh, this vertical line x equals 2. Okay, so that's something we're going to have to consider. But then in this direction, it just seems like it's going to go off into infinity, right? So that's basically the general behavior here. Now, when you're talking about the domain, really, we're going to uh, kind of think about what x values are on this function's graph. So I'd like to look at this x-axis and be like, okay, it's, this uh, function is uh, basically above or... Um, uh, under this part of the x-axis. In other words, this point here, that's an x, uh, this x point is on the line here, this x point's on, on this graph here, not the line, this uh, function. This x point is on this line here, and then over here, this x values right there, etc. Okay, so you can kind of get a sense of that. So x values, when I'm looking at the function here, okay, are going to be all these x values, all right, off into infinity all right so we need to go ahead and define this but remember this function all right this graph here is never going to touch the line x equals two okay all right so what is a way we can describe this well we can say a couple different ways we want to talk about all these values this way along the x-axis so we can say all x is greater than but not equal to two okay so that's one way we can write that way. Of course, you can say X is an element of the real number set. Well, we don't have to write that in there, you know, but if you wanted to be a little technically correct, that's perfectly fine. We are deal with, dealing with the real numbers. So it's as simple as this. The domain is just all the um, values. X is greater than 2. Now, there is another way to express this using something called interval notation. So we can go this way, uh, open bracket. All right, this is something, too, that you're going to want to know. Open bracket at 2, and then this goes to positive infinity open bracket. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, this is called interval notation, and it also is another way to describe sets. But either one of these would be correct. Okay, all right, so if you got that right, then I must give you a nice little happy face with an A+. Plus. And we'll hold off on any uh, extra stars and 100% here just because we haven't talked yet about the range. And the range, we're uh, basically going to uh, do the same thing, but now we're going to be focused in on the y-axis. Okay, so how much of this graph is kind of spanning along the y-axis? Now, if we look at the graph, you kind of have to change your perspective here. Well, this point is going to this y-axis here. You know, this point is, you know, connected with this um, uh, graph. So it looks like the entire y-axis is going to be spanned, okay, with this particular graph. And that's kind of a good way to think about it, right? This this graph, this function is spanning the entire uh, y-axis. So what would be the set of output values? Well, the entire y-axis. Now that would just include the whole entire set of real numbers, or you can just say, you know, all y such that y's element of the real numbers. In other words, there's a lot of different ways you can write that. Let's use interval notation. It would go from negative infinity to positive infinity, open brackets, okay? All right, so this is a, um, a very important uh, skill that you're going to need to be able to, um, you know, interpret these functions graphs to define the domain and range, okay? This comes up in quite a bit of test, I've seen these type of things like on the SAT and ACT as well. So it's something that's not like a trivial little problem. You're definitely going to see this. So if you got all of this right and you totally understand, you're like, no, this is just a quick review video for me, then I just must give you a few little extra stars and a 100% and a job well done. Okay, so again, uh, domain and range and functions, huge topic in mathematics, extremely important and a lot to cover. So hopefully, you know, this little video helped you out with these type of problems. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. I have a lot more videos on functions, okay? Within my algebra playlist, algebra two playlist, all depends on what level 
of math you're taking because obviously functions, you know, uh, as you continue them and you get into more advanced stuff. But uh, please, you know, if you like my teaching style, you know, check out my content and I'm making new stuff all the time. So hopefully you will subscribe. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.